the entire batting practice session, rather. Speaking of the back ports, that's got a chance to get there, and it does! Duncan McKinnon, just his second home run of the season, and it's one nothing Waves. Did we not say this park would play small today? Nope. Uh, with the wind blowing out, you know, Jordan Kassar, a high fly ball. Looked like it might have been a routine play out to center field. That carried to the wall. And Brandt laces one to left, a fair ball down into the corner, around second on his way to third is Lambert. They're going to send him home. The relay throw from Perry on a bounce is not handled by the catcher. And sliding in safely is Lambert. And the Waves have taken a 2-0 lead on an RBI double by Brant Belk. Time with uh, 30 of the team's 62 errors. That's hit high and deep down the left field line. That ball, if it stays fair, is gone, and it is gone for a two-run home run. Canfer with his sixth of the year, and the Pepperdine Waves have taken a 4-0 lead, and all the runs scoring here. 13 hits and six and a third innings pitched. And, and that one is gone. How about Kassar, no doubter, it's probably going to find its way close into the harbor. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Waves here in the third. More two-out damage. And it is 5-0 Pepperdine. 1-1. One, one. Fastball, bouncer to third, and a second for one on to first. And they get the inning-ending double play. Pulled a second, and this should end it. McAfee up with it, and the Pepperdine Waves have won the opener. It is on to tomorrow's semifinal on Friday here in Stockton.